Providing academic challenge is our main priority, but a key thing for the school is always stretching the girls to full personal development and full potential in, in every respect. Well, the work that Sarah's been doing in theatre studies is quite a new area for us. We're interested in the development of thinking skills and creative skills, and particularly in the creative process, and that's what she's been focusing on using video. It's just a, a tool that you can immediately see how something looks and assess whether you want to use it or not. someone who's not in that scene will sit out and go oh let's try doing this and they almost like take the director role for a bit and then we rerun things and say I'm really unhappy with this can we change it they do tend to to, to vocalize their thoughts and discuss everything and analyze it verbally and sometimes it's difficult to get them up and practically physicalizing their ideas there are many variables that you can um, choose when you're looking at creative work so you can have a director or not you can devise it or you can have a script so i thought one group should be scripted one devise one have a director one not so and just see what happens with that At Stratford-upon-Avon Grammar School for Girls, we're fortunate to have the Royal Shakespeare Theatre and its resources, the acting space, the costume hire, the educational facilities, all on our doorstep. One, two, three, four. Every year, the Year 13 Theatre Studies Group produce a piece of drama to be performed at our Day of Celebration, held on this occasion at the Courtyard Theatre. First group are working collaboratively on a scripted performance. I'm not running. It's way too complex. Yeah. The second group are devising their own piece of theatre, working with the self-appointed director. The groups begin the rehearsal process in different ways. I really like the idea of the history boy slash girl thing. I think and I do like this what's a cornucopia of tats, because then that's explaining what it, what it yeah. is, and we need that, don't we? As Ibsen said when he wrote that letter about Bertha in yeah. um, Hedda Gabler, because she is the smallest character in the play. But I want a beard for a natural life story. Do I need my line there? It is a tale told by an idiot, full of sound and fury. You had to create a backstory to make a character interesting, and she is really vital. Is that what Shakespeare's like? Incredibly depressing. <laughs> <laughs> I really like I, him. I, As the second group don't have a formal script to work from, their ideas are free and unrestricted. They're able to express themselves beyond the framework of a text. The director's role in this case is to harness their ideas and move them forward. The established rehearsal process makes use of a director to supply clear vision. Although the first group are working without a director, they have the structure of the script to provide a framework within which they're free to experiment. The audition scene anyway, so we can be setting up for that whilst we get into the scene, because that yeah. gives a bit of hustle and bustle, because I'll be getting my telephone out. Hath not a Jew eyes, hath not a Jew hands, organs, dimensions, senses, passions, fed with... Do you understand how complicated we can allow ourselves to be? Just see. The second group make use of their director as a creative artist who unifies input from the group in order to move their piece forward. Both groups have produced impressive performance pieces using different rehearsal methods. The processes have been successful in order to encourage original thinking and hopefully provide a clear enjoyment of the creative process. 
I'm looking forward to taking an idea and completely changing it into something that we think will be funny and that we think is funny um, and working as a group to create something. It's just everyone works together, everyone pitches ideas together. And it will be dark. School really hasn't seen before something which can really make our year go out with a bang. I like having a small group because I get on really well with the other five people. I think it's better being smaller because we can function and we listen to more to each other. I think Patrick and Kate get a bit nervous about telling you what to do in case we'll all end up hating her. But I enjoy having her because I like being told what to do and then it makes us all do stuff together. But it's quite hard work because they're all my good friends so I don't want to sort of yell at them when they're not working and stuff. But um, overall it's going really well and everyone's really pulling together and I think it's going to be great. It's only really now that we've put the two groups side by side because obviously they, they only had the experience of, of their group, they didn't have the, the, the contrast. So it's now putting them side by side, they, they, they can see whether they might have preferred working on a devised piece or without a director or, or whichever they weren't working with. I think it opens up different opportunities mm. for them to be aware of what's possible. Um, I think uh, enriching the curriculum is a very significant uh, challenge for all schools. Um, uh, we're not just interested in going through examination hoops all the time, but we're looking at breadth um, and, and interesting, uh, inspirational, stimulating projects. Mm. I think there's a lot of talented students in, in Year 13 at the moment, and I think it's, it's essential that I provide an extra challenge for them, for, for them to take on the role of the director or for them to collaborate together, rather than it be me, the director. And I think that's been interesting in many ways, interesting for me to have to take a step back. The way it's gone is a lot of the time, if there's a scene going on, someone who's not in that scene will sit out and go, oh, let's try doing this, and they almost like take the director role for a bit. And then we rerun things and say, I'm really unhappy with this, can we change it? Mm -hmm. And everybody says, oh, I like that or I don't like that, and we go with what feels best. And there's no, there hasn't ever been an argument, really, there's has there? Been no, conflict. never. That's one thing we don't have in ours, is that everyone's always in the scene, so you never have someone who can look at it yeah. from an outside yeah. perspective. Because with us it was different because there was usually somebody not on stage at any one time so we could have loads of different people's opinion which I think helped. Yeah. Sarah would you be tempted to try this kind of group work using video with other age groups? Oh certainly yeah I do use it a lot in my teaching at the moment but it's just so instant and drama is all about what things look like. It's vital in drama to be able to, to, to take a, a a distanced view and be able to see themselves. What kind of progression would you expect to see? Uh, I think it's all to do with the, the ways in which they reflect on watching themselves, not just, oh, there I am on the screen. And I also think as well, with a certain level of mature, as maturity increases, they, they are able to reflect on each other's performance with 
uh, and support each other and, and take each other's comments on board. And how do you think this would work across the curriculum in other subjects? I think the, the obvious link there is, is, is in the ability to reflect on the learning process. Um, self-reflection, self-assessment is, is, is significant within all assessment for learning activities. Um, and what we have here is, is a device for focusing on that, uh, enabling that to happen. Do you think it would have turned out differently if we'd had a director? Uh, definitely. I think if there had been one other person in implementing it, it would have been very different. But we've all been able to share our own ideas and we've all been able to, ha been able to have our own input, so I think it's a lot better. Do you think you've had less input as a, like, as a group because you've had a director? Um, I wouldn't say we've we had less input. In fact, I'd say we have more because we we don't have a script. We're not limited in that respect, so we have to um, have as many ideas as possible. What did you learn? <sighs> well, how to edit. I can now edit my own film, and um, maybe more about my role as a drama teacher, really, mm -hmm. to to provide a, a safe and comfortable environment for them to experiment and to to find their place within a team and find their voice within a team and th these type of skills obviously the, the skills they use in every subject but it's it's just getting to know individuals and helping them get to know what type of learner they are perhaps. I think one, one thing I thought in interesting was how quickly the girls became at ease with the camera. Mm. Um, I don't know how fast that'll happen with staff I suspect it might be a slightly slower process. Mm. What do you see as the CPD opportunities? I think it's to do with uh, the fact that we have um, the experts within our schools. Uh, the experts are there in the pupils uh, for what goes on in the classroom, the experts are there in the teachers, um, so that the teachers can look at each other's work, learn from each other, um, with the pupil voice having an impact on that as well. Um, and the video, the use of video within the classroom, as Sarah was saying, helps us to focus on, on, on process uh, as well as product. It's good that we're filming from a long distance away because that's going to give you that totally naturalistic look. The second approach is that you get in close to your subjects and you're going to get, a, you're going to get much nicer shots, you're going to be able to hear them much more clearly. We'll just grab the camera and head over. It feels more intimate. You're going to be able to pick up reactions nicely and we can actually hear what they're saying and hear what the difference is. Okay. We originally had the intention of sort of making things a lot more messy. Originally when I went in they would talk to me and look at me as if I was part of the group and could respond and so it just took a lot of filming for them to get used to me being there but not being there as it were. You have to film them a lot Yeah. and then you just become a part of the furniture effectively Yeah. and they start reacting the way they would have done at, at the beginning of the process when you were a long way away. Yeah. So it's almost as if you're not there. It's just and it just takes time. Yeah. I know that we take...